Yo, Wolf, uh, how, much, how much time we got? Nigga, really got to check that. <laughs> that nigga, like, how much, how much, we good? All right, so let me get to this next topic, right? Um, you shouldn't be dating um, or looking to be in a relationship if, and you got to fill in the blank, what, what are some reasons why somebody shouldn't be dating or looking for a relationship? If they haven't healed from the past. Boom! I was going to say that shit. Mm. If they got trauma and they about to project that shit. Because mm. if you haven't healed for real, mm. like, okay, because I've, I've definitely been in that aspect where it's like I haven't healed, but like I know how to not project that onto my partner. In fact, I will communicate, hey, these are my problems. Do you, know, do you think you could come for me in this aspect? So that I feel secure and safe mm. and not like, I don't know, like you're out like, hey, when you're out with your friends, do you mind just sh shooting me a text so I don't feel like you out there wilding? If that's my if that's my trauma. Right. But that if you got trauma, don't holler at me for real. <laughs> Been there, done that. I'm not doing that. You can't save these niggas just like you can't save these bitches mm. for real. Okay. okay. I'm, yeah. that I, so you healed? Oh baby, I'm healed. I'm happy. <laughs> he went to therapy. I'm doing good. I go to therapy. Yo, shout out to oh, my yeah, therapist. Shout out to you, she gonna watch this shit. That's what's up, man. She, she was, gonna watch this shit. What? She my, what? She's one of my number one supporters. Yo, give her she a actually, plug. Give her a plug real quick. Right? Tina, right. let's go, baby. Yo. Book her. Drop Book the link. We gonna drop the link. DM for her, me like, so I can send you her shit. I'm yeah, not even lying got to, to you. Tina. She saved. Nah, Tina saved my life. She helped me out a lot. And mm. also, um, like, you just learn. Through the problems, like you just learn and and you learn how to like create boundaries, you know, have better circles, better friends. How you if you got some family issues, you know how to communicate better. Like it's a lot of things we feel like we can handle on our own that our own family don't even know. Like they probably didn't even know how to teach that shit to us yeah, ourselves. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of people, like I'm sure y'all all had a friend that be like, yo, this nigga, like a friend that's talking to somebody, oh, he don't know how to communicate. He probably didn't learn that shit when he was young. Mm -hmm. He probably had a family that would yell at each other and argue and that's why he yell and argue when he has to say something. Mm -hmm. So you, you're saying that like certain men, like are we supposed to excuse them for not having emotional intelligence? <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't excuse people with our emotional challenges. No, but you have to go learn and find that. Um, so what you was, so what was you just? But I'm saying no. I'm I'm not excusing it. But I'm saying like that's what therapy teaches you. It teaches you that um, it's not like a right now issue. Right, the right now issue is that he cannot communicate. Yeah. But the pro where that originated from was probably from an unhealthy home that did not know how like to communicate. Like childhood, yeah. Yes, yes. True. No, we're not excusing him if that's what came over. Us. <laughs> what he needs to do is learn and. Like, once you acknowledge, the first step is acknowledging the issue and acknowledging mm -hmm. the problem that needs to be fixed. Once you can do that, then you can move forward and you can learn and you can grow and you can heal. Mm -hmm. But if you can't do that, you're never going to grow and heal. You ever heard of someone that says, yo, I'm about to start going to the gym. I'll go to the gym. They've been saying that for three years. They go to the <laughs> fucking gym and they never go to the gym. Mm -hmm. and that is the true. problem is that, is that you don't know how to apply yourself. Mm -hmm. Once you know how to apply yourself... You will go to the fucking gym. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, Joel. That's just a small example. Right, right, right. You already right, sound that's... like somebody going to therapy. That's yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> that you do like sound like somebody going to therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to you, man. All right, so, so, what else we got, like Nisi? What else we got? <laughs> what else you learn in therapy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 not <laughs> that. <man. laughs> Else. Save if, me some if this, money, girl. If this is Family Feud, we need five answers on the board right now. Like, um, you know what I mean? Like, um, broke. That was the number one answer. I was waiting for that one. Like, okay. you know what I'm saying? Anything. Let me see, bro. But Survey also, said, honestly, like, like, yeah. everything else falls under the healed part. Because uh -huh. if you're broke and you're trying to date, you definitely need to heal yourself. You need to go fix yourself. This is for men and women? Yes, men and women. Oh, yes. Okay, okay. So, broke women can't... can't she, no, no she women can, date all the time. Yeah, no, they date Do all they? the time, but they don't date for love. They date for opportunity. They date well, for a situation. They date for, true. damn, I need to I need to get out this. I, yeah, I'm so in the jam. Nigga, he dating for opportunity? Like, damn, I'm trying to fuck. I'm exactly, trying to die. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you might, wrong, you might, run, into, like, you might run into the wrong girl. You might end up getting, you, you broke, you looking for something. This bitch just giving you money. I right, fuck it. I'm going to fuck a roll because I'm going to get more money. And then now you got a whole baby with this girl. Now, <laughs> you know, and that's First crazy. First of all, that's your logic of thinking, fella. You ain't gonna get more. Oh, a lot money. of niggas think like that. I don't know why I think like that. Like, you know what I mean? A lot of guys think but like that. But that's how a lot of single yeah, home, open. like, you yeah, know, you single open. mothers happen mm -hmm. because they deal with the broke. Because you know what they say about broke niggas, right? What? <laughs> what they say? Tell us. Child. They make the best fathers? 
No. <laughs> what? No, what? Yeah, definitely what? don't say that. Like, I ain't never heard that one. No, they know how to, you know. Oh, they fuck good. Yeah. 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 Oh, I mean, if I wasn't working all day, like, yes. oh, that's hobo, 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 sexual, I think homeless sexual. Yeah, something like that. I ain't got to work. I go fuck all day too. What you mean? Exactly. That's how. That's that's the reason. That sounds like an equivalent exchange to me. Like, and the business is running, right? You you home. <laughs> you still gotta run that business though. Yeah, they still yeah, have to run. And he first they of all, have no time. He, and he, you know first of all, he running his business. He did uh, Dick Dicks RS like LLC. No, like you know what I'm saying? You it. you're paying for this <laughs> shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, like, another thing you paying for about parenting. If you're not proud to be a parent, you shouldn't be dating. If you're yeah. not happy being, I, I've seen something. I think I was watching like um, Love Is Blind. Yeah, I mm-hmm. watched Love Is Blind. Oh my God, girl, do I? And like when the girl <laughs> started bringing up that she had a kid, it was like she's like, ah, yeah, I got a kid, and uh, and it was like, girl, if you got a kid and you're not comfortable with that, should be the first thing. Like when somebody asks you about yourself, oh, I'm a mom, I'm a da 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 da, you know, like it shouldn't be a drag. And if it is, I don't think you're ready to go into a relationship with a new person with a kid. Right. That's like a big, big thing. So that, that too, if true. you got a kid, if you broke, if you insecure, you shouldn't be dating. Like you yes, should just if you insecure, you just if you chill. insecure, you gotta chill. yo. Because something about friend. dating me, you gotta be secure. <laughs> what you mean? Bitches and niggas want me. I'm straight and these bitches want me. <laughs> yes, yes. They be thinking I'm gay. I'm not gay. You, sh- you straight? Bitch? <laughs> I'm just a tomboy sometimes, for real. Like you. And these niggas, like for real, like I've had, I've dated niggas where we're like outside and they're like, yo. Every person has looked in your like has been in your face walking here. And I'm like, you, yes. You don't you don't think that like <laughs> yeah. you don't think sometimes that confidence can get in the way of a relationship because then you start to treat the nigga like, you know what I mean? Like, yo, you you better not fuck up because I got bitches and niggas on my body. Like, you know what I'm saying? No, like, I would never say no shit like, oh, by the way. I like, feel like when that's though. something regular, you no, don't... I- I talk about it like no. that. You're not gonna be like, nigga, I got mad. Like, it's I just, wouldn't like, do nigga, that. You know I got niggas. Yeah, like, oh, that's what it is. You, you don't know. have to say it so unless you're not. Never get mad, but y'all got niggas in my DMs right now. That's pretty. No, I don't think any no, girl that actually has up. that don't. We don't say that because you know that that's something that a person will stick on you and try to like hold you too. So it's yeah, like you know, I'm you not, know, what's the funny part about this about that conversation is that we often hear women say they like medium ugly niggas, right? They don't want their nigga to be too attractive because they understand the women gonna be on his body and therefore they like, damn, I don't want that responsibility. It, it do work. It the do medium work. ugly niggas be getting bored of the bitches, especially if they put a little chain on and a little drip. Like, the fuck? But hear me out, though. Hear me out, though. The medium ugly niggas, they got a bad bitch like us. Now all the bitches want him. What is he doing? <laughs> That's a fact. These bitches with him. Now he's getting all the bitches. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then, niggas get more bitches when they're in a relationship than singles. That's, That's a fact. fact. Yeah, That's you a guys know fact. that. I think you. That's a big out. fact. Oh, word? That's yeah. a so very big fact. I'm taking y'all. That is true. Because women can smell that shit. I don't understand that shit. No, girl. No, and if they see the girl they like oh wow yeah and if they think they prettier than them they're gonna go for it bro. hell yeah <laughs> they do it's not like they did yeah. that they're like, they're like, they're like, they're like yeah. yes correct but you see that was knowing what she was saying without saying it right there that, that's what that looked like you know what I mean? a real girl girl she got the she, she already know right. right. I'm gonna say look I'm gonna say um, I don't think you should be dating if you still got daddy or mommy issues, you shouldn't. You definitely shouldn't Therapy, be. Baby. Yeah, you definitely shouldn't be. If you have a clear, <laughs> if you have a clear bias or sexist mm-hmm. or mindset, like towards the opposite sex, you should not be dating. Like, there's too many women out here. Too many men out here that hate men or women. Like, y- y'all don't need to be dating. Like, for real, for real. Like, you know what I mean? So yeah, no, that's a fact. It was I, a point in my life where I really hated men, and I was like being nasty. And it damn, was, you hated it, it, them. Yeah, and I was in a relationship, and I was like, ah, I fucking hate y'all. And, I, like, and it was, it was, it was just nasty. Like I was making it nasty, and I wasn't noticing how nasty I was making yeah, that, that, it. God, but I was, that yeah, shit was crazy. Like yeah, in crazy. a relationship, Mad was hating, me. telling him yeah, that you hate me. Cause it's just like I like, I love you, but I hate the shit you doing. Like you know, mm. and then it's like I didn't, I didn't know how to like. That's just. Something. I, it was just weird because you can love somebody and just hate what they fucking do. Like. I fucking I love you. I fuck with you, but I hate I hate that you do this and that and that and the third. I think and then, um, counterproductive. <laughs> I I think <laughs> that is counterproductive. I think if you haven't fully divorced the person that you was you you was married to, then you to shouldn't say. be dating for oh, sure. Yeah, like, I don't want that half in between. <laughs> like we ain't fully divorced yet. We still met and I. Bro, there's people shit. out here been divorced, quote unquote, like. 
<laughs> but without it being on paper, they are just you know doing. But but yeah, it's like that's what I'm about separation. to say. What if but what it because you know that's a long process that divorce process. That's a long process, and mm-hmm. it could be a nasty and process. Yeah. So should I, I like I can't date because. I'm still feel me like nigga. We in the courts. We we it's it's going down. We just don't got the actual factual. You know. Nah, we wait it out. It has to be all the way. Wait wait that wait that shit out. Yeah, yeah. I would. You would wait for some girl that you really want for her to finish with that paperwork. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get that paperwork done. But you gonna date her in the meantime, or you gonna wait? Hmm. You gonna wait. Until that's done, or you're gonna dare in the meantime. No, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till it's done because I don't even want to. Because I'm not even gonna be in the right mindset in that whole process. Because going through court, we just had a divorce you attorney. Might be the fucking person that got her back when she going through that stress, my nah, boy. That's just me. I'm not yes. dealing with it. Like you get what I'm saying. Like um, I think, uh, I think, oh, um, if you have primary custody of your child, I don't think you should be dating. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with if you. If you have bro. primary primary custody of your child, you should not be dating. <laughs> Honestly, wait, what? I kind of I kind of like I, I used to not like. <laughs> I'm so confused. Bro, wait, what? If you're the primary caretaker and you got kids, you should not be dating. So people with kids should not date. No, I don't got kids. Oh, motherfuckers with kids always that. talking shit. Talking shit. Oh, I don't got no kids, but I'm gonna tell you some shit straight up. I used to not when I was younger. I had that mindset like, yo, niggas with kids. Now I love a nigga with kids. That nigga no responsibility. A lot of women love and how niggas to treat with a kids. Woman. Like, mm-hmm. So best believe if that nigga got kids, no problem. As long as you're not with shorty. And then there's no beef and nobody's DMing me. You know, or some shit. She could be in the views though. She could watch. It's Jenny Jeff, bitch. Other than that, other than that for real, no. Yeah, as long as there's no drama. See, and, and that's the difference I think between a lot of men and women is that Women don't mind dating a man with kids. Well, men is going to look twice and think about it. Like, you get what I'm saying? I've lied and said that. Like, just to see a guy's reaction. Like, oh, yeah, I have a kid. Is that a problem? They'd be like, no. They've always said no. I'm going to start saying I got five. And then I'll be like, oh, this is my kid and this is my (laughs) dog. You tell somebody you got five kids? (laughs) I should. I want to see some. You won't get disqualified off of her player. I'm going to say, yo, I And then it's like, why are you lying? Then why are you lying? I do that kid. And then I take a picture and there's my dog. It's just a funny You're a dog mom. Thank you. I ain't gonna lie, niggas not gonna stop talking to you, but you you gonna be in a different category though. Oh, so uh, ultimately they, you know, the impression at first is one thing, and then once you said the five kids, because are, it's di- when you the, five kids. when you the pri- <laughs> when you the, it's different because men are usually not the primary uh, caretakers of yes. the child, so they have that freedom, like you know what I'm saying. When you the pri- yeah. like we got women on here talking about you, I pay for my babysitter and all this other shit. I don't got time to be dating. I got kids. Yeah. A nigga ain't trying to deal with. I'm be honest with you, like a lot of niggas ain't trying to deal with that. You know what I mean? I mean, when, it, it depends when it's a on guy, the situation. He got time. Because sometimes guys will will date a girl mm-hmm. and be like, oh, she got a kid. I ain't gonna really take her too serious, and then see how good of a mom she is, and be like, damn, I kind of want a baby I'm mom like kill that. Her. Yeah, like I might want to <laughs> marry her. She a good ass mom, like you know. So it it all depends on the situation. Like, oh, no, it, it do, it do. It and depends the, and on the, the people. Like, and you know. even with me, like when I see a guy that's like nurturing with their, you know, their children, I just be like, oh. I love that. I like kids. Until the baby mama trying to beat you up, you know what I'm saying? I don't like that. That's what I don't like. Wait, my last one. Before I, we oh. get to you, my last because I had a list. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, right. Listen, if you still looking for validation on social media or from the opposite sex mm-hmm. or even the same sex in your, in your case, like, <laughs> yeah. you shouldn't be dating. I'm be honest with you. Like, you know I mean, if it's the same like, sex, I might not mind that. But go ahead, that, that might be fair. But yeah, you shouldn't be dating. Like for sure. Like you know looking for validation as in what? Like that means you, some people be like, oh, you post on Instagram. Why you got to post on Instagram? That's not looking for validation. No, if, just, if you got to post your ass in every pic. No, I mean, I, of you course, gotta shaking, shaking your ass or doing, like, or doing super like, sexual shit. You got to gonna... post some shit in camel toe all up like, in the camera. Or, like, nah, like, yeah, you ain't do You got your sweats all in your ass crack and shit. Like, nah. <laughs> you still trying to go to concert and dance with artists and shit like that? Like, nah, yeah, you, you got to be. Right, well, yeah, you, you gotta, yeah, you don't deserve to be dating. That's right. crazy. My fault, like, but hey, it's usher, though. We not gonna go into. Yeah, we ain't gonna. Work. He's yeah. giving drill sergeant like. No, for, real. <laughs> for sure, like, you know what I'm saying. That's that discipline, like. You know what I'm saying? But um, if you're not over your ex, I don't think you should be dating. Mm-hmm, that's a good one. And um, if you if you still going through your whole face. Mm. I was thinking. So how, but that's what people date the most. <laughs> yeah, man. No, that's, oh, what niggas, that's, what niggas, that's what niggas fuck the most. Like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas that's ain't, the most. Yeah. Niggas they ain't really date being the a, most too. Niggas don't be trying but to be in relationships is, like that. She right because fuck the most and date the most is correct because you fucking <laughs> and then you still got your, you got your roster so you got your top three you dating them people mm-hmm. facts. Mm-hmm. 
That's How do you right. guys but keep I, up? I, I, I ain't mean for men though. I mean, <laughs> How do you guys keep up? Because I can't I can't do that. I can't it's a, it's a skill at this point. You know? yeah, it is a skill. But a lot of niggas don't got that skill because that's how they be getting <laughs> caught up. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they said it. You, you. Wow. <laughs> they said it. They said it. Wow. That now, is it is crazy. a skill. Like, I ain't saying every nigga got that skill. Yo, but women, yeah, for sure. No, that juggling shit. a lot of people is definitely a fucking skill. And that shit is exhausting. And it's an emotional roller coaster. You gotta you wake up, one bitch happy, one bitch sad, one bitch <laughs> at, the other one at the door. You like, oh shit, gotta move the stuff, gotta <laughs> text the, the bitches the back. Gotta, it, that's a it, that that's shit is too crazy. much. Like, like, like how, how they do that? that. They, you know, that is a lot. I got Y'all a friend like that, and she impresses me every time. <laughs> Oh, me too. She oh impresses God. me, man. Because yeah, I'm yeah. You talking about that? You, you too, right? Me too. You like, too, right? Oh, what? Like, you, got, you, know, you got a friend like that too, right? I I had. I had. Yo. My whole girls now, they, they all, like, we all kind of, we calm yeah, now. There you, <laughs> there you go. You got to get there. But yeah. I gotta Wait, y'all, first of all, y'all hold your homegirls accountable if they cheating on their nigga? Um, I'm, I'm if you doing business. shit like that, you probably don't have. Do a not finger. put me in your shit because your man ain't gonna punch me in my motherfucking head. I'm on my motherfucking monkey ass business. Like, bitch, don't put me in that shit. So y'all, like y'all don't be like, girl, way... you that fucked up. You trifling. Y'all don't be doing that. I no. only do that if I really fuck with the nigga. If he, I think he's good for her. And that's yourself. never been the case. So shit, do your thing, boo. Yeah. I, I mean, if you ask me, if you ask me, mm-hmm. I'm gonna tell you the truth. But if you just doing. <laughs> you grown as fuck. I ain't, you feel me? I ain't going. But if you ask me now, like, bitch, am I wildin'? Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm yeah, like, girl, I'm listen, you know, wildin'. I'm here for you. I'm gonna tell you. I, I ain't want to say it until you ask. <laughs> but yeah, you wildin'. But you know, I still yeah, love yeah. you. We can fix it. <laughs> yeah, how, how can I be here for you? Like, we yeah. can fix this. But um, yeah, I'm not gonna uh, unless you ask. Because things get very tricky, mm. like especially when everybody grown and it's like. Mm. If you giving too much opinions and then it's like, wait, wait, what's what's up? You like the nigga or like you <laughs> or you hate it? Like you feel me? Like it gets it gets real tricky, like with girls. So it's like you gotta kind of. Yeah, just... heads be going like but so it's left, true. like if they ask, <laughs> shit crazy. definitely keep it a stack. Yeah, if they ask, like, they keep fucking it. up. I'm gonna definitely say something because I've definitely yeah, yeah, yeah. been there where like this one instance, I did have a friend that she did have a man for four or five years. And he was the shit to her. Like, he did everything for her. Mm. And then she was cheating on him with my best friend at the time. And I thought that was nuts. I told her, yo, stop that shit. Yeah. You wildin'. Y'all both wildin', too. Y'all think... Yeah. Well, y'all think got more genuine friendships, women or men? Men. Men. Oh, okay. Man. Mm. Cause y'all seem like y'all got it hard. Like I, yeah, y'all just, really I gotta, feel like, like man, y'all eggshells. y'all have a problem t- today and then forget about it the next day. Us, oh god, the, the grudge be like <laughs> it's just crazy. Y'all just, and with guys like y'all, like like it's just the same situation we just spoke about. Yeah. If you could tell a guy that you're not even that cool with, like, yo, bro, da, 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 and he ain't gonna really take it the hard. Like certain bitches, like if you're not that cool with that girl, it's you just can't say too much. it goes crazy. It's you like, bad. oh girl, it wasn't even like, yeah, that. Wasn't like even you know what? Serious, right? Forget it. Like yeah. girls are just more emotional and stuff. So it's like you gotta kinda gotta be careful with everything. And then yeah. as you grow, some people outgrow each other faster than others. Yeah, and yeah. it's just be a lot. It's mm-hmm. girls are a lot. Listen, 